I'm not trying not to cry. I'm back. Welcome to another episode of Food Finders. And today we are in Geylang, and obviously, we need two guys. Okay, Lang, if not, you know, it's not appropriate for the other ladies. Yeah. So you yeah, have Gary then. Glad to be here again. Thanks everyone for uh, commenting on the last episode. We are going to base the locations today loosely on one of the articles that we have. 10 foods in Geylang that live up to the food haven's reputation. We're going to sprinkle in a few new finds that I found. I mean, I've never been to Geylang this early in the morning before. Not I mean, so early because it comes at night. Yeah, right. I come at night. So what things. do you come here at night for? Food. For food? Oh, okay. And let's go find our first spot. Boom! I'm gonna bring you to eat turtle soup. What? Have you ever had turtle soup? I've had frog. Turtle, I have bro. never had turtle. Okay, so we've actually arrived. Answer saying is, oh freak, it's actually quite crowded. Huh? Turtle soup? What? Legit. Legit clay pot turtle soup, man. We have a... <laughs> it looks well. so normal here, but like to me, it's... Look at everyone, it's like, it's normal. This is normal. This is normal, okay. You wanna run through what we got, Gary? So we got the turtle Benefits. soup. Yep. We got the ginseng black chicken right here. We got the cordyceps. Cordyceps. Not quadriceps. Not quadriceps, uh, at least. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we also got the J tofu over yeah, here. J tofu. It says four pieces, but because it's Sethui, they gave us uh, oh. six. Oh, they, wow, shit, they gave six. And ironically, I don't like tofu, so I don't know why they gave me more tofu. Uh, and then we have the aged preserved radish omelet. They also got, what is this? It's yam rice. So I've had yeah. quite a few yam rice. This yeah. one actually, uh, I would say it looks a, a lot better than the normal yam rice. I looks would like they did see. a lot more work. So fun fact, turtle soup is traditionally served for royalty back in China. Try the soup, soup first, I'll try the chicken soup. It smells like herbs. Soup is good. Ching, ching. What's ching? Ching la. It's like clean. It's like herbal, but like, yeah, I think as you say, it's a bit cleaner. It's not, it's not very thick. The ginger flavor is pretty distinct. Soup is good though. I'm really interested to try out this, the meat. Yeah, I don't know whether this is the shell or not, but I mean, it looks like skin. That's skin. the shell. No, it's not the shell. Shell. You gotta eat shell. The turtles used here are ethically farmed, not of the endangered species. Just to be clear. So I got like a nice meaty, meaty okay, part. You got a meaty part. It's like soft and chewy. Wait, you only try the meat part. Right? I just try tried the, the meat part. Try the flappy. The, the, the thing is, I don't know what this is. It looks very collagen-like. Yep, definitely. You know, like uh, cooked pork, where the fat just melts. It's kind of got like that. You can taste a little bit of like that, that collagen in the soup as well. Like, yeah, it's got a little yeah. bit of fishiness. To me, it's still a novelty because it's not okay. something I would eat every. I wouldn't it, consider eating, right? Other than turtle soup, of course, there are other herbal soups. You have tried black chicken, yeah? I have tried black chicken. Okay, so there's like a white chicken and also a black chicken. How do you find the soup? It's slightly different. You can definitely yeah. taste the difference in it. Yep. The texture at first of the turtle is like soft, right? It just yep. it's stringy. But as soon as you start chewing on it, then it gets more fibrous and a yep. bit more chewy. But then um, obviously just the yep. chicken is like your standard well-cooked chicken and it just melts. It just like melts, it just shreds about yeah. it. So you can see there is a whole ginseng. I, th I think that's probably why we The like flavor it. is so different. Yeah, the flavor is so different. I, I'm actually quite surprised that the, the soups, between the chicken soups, are different. I'm, I'm actually quite amazed that they, they bothered to use like a different base, man. How do you find rice? I actually quite like the rice. The rice know. is amazing. Rice is good. It, it really goes well with the soup. I, I actually am a big fan of herbal soup. And I think, I think overall, like I've had a few over in, in um, Singapore, like you know, your Kopi yeah. Dam, something they have herbal yeah. soup. I can probably say this is the best one I've had. Like if you're a big fan of herbal stuff. Herbal stuff. Tanzu Singh does it really well. The consistency is excellent. Every table's got the same quality. Yeah, and yeah, the quality single. control is really good. Okay, I'm not a huge fan, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Gary to evaluate the tofu. It's not a hard crust tofu. It's just like lightly um, deep fried, I think. Just lightly deep fried, so not right. super hard. The inside of the tofu, it's not the silk tofu. It's like the one with the little choruses. 
but then it's also very juicy. It's good. It tastes even better with the chili. But it's a different chili, right? It's more like the sweet, the sweet, sweet the sour. Sweet, the sweet sour. But I prefer this one. Oh, but yeah, this, this this chili is the bomb. It really goes with the the turtle and the chicken as well. It covers up like the whole fishy flavor. How do you find Tanser Sen? I'm not like I don't find a lot of herbal places, but I I, yeah. I, I don't know how it could be improved. So I guess it's a oh shit is five. <laughs> <laughs> Every herb soup has a unique flavor. The consistency looks very, very consistent. They are doing something right, very right. I very give it a five stars as well. You don't really see any tourists, tourists in a way. Mm. This is very local. You need to be super adventurous. You need to be willing to try new things yeah. and stuff like that. And I gotta say the yam rice. The yam rice. If this is the first yam rice you have in Singapore, you're gonna right. spoil the market. Right, but, uh, with like this quality. I'm just the hero of the day. Okay, let's go. Uh, chopsticks transition. Let's not do this again. <laughs> Cancer. Oh, it's lovely. Lovely day for some Thai. Mm. Feel very fancy here. Fancy. We're mm. in Gay Lang. Mm, indeed. Where are we? We're at a uh, TWC. TWC. The Wonderment. Collective. Some biscuits and crumpets. And crumpets. Cheers. No cheers. Do the British. God rest the queen. TWC is, is really like a different dimension by itself in Geelang. Classic look. Uh, I mean, I really like it. They spent a lot on the decor. I love this blue though. This, this teal color is very calming. The food is here. This is the high tea set. So TWC is a artisanal gifting company, but they also do this store as like their showcase of what they can actually do for your events. You know, if you want to cater from, from TWC, TWC, you can do so as well. And we have a French toast and a berry tart. And later on, we're gonna have some coffee to wash everything down. We have scones, some macaroons, some tarts. Uh, this looks like a tiramisu. Some savories. Some looks things. Looks like smoked salmon, egg mayo. I think it's egg mayo. Yeah, yeah, it looks like egg, egg mayo. mayo. Yeah, so this place is, is not for, I mean, it's not for a proper meal. This is more like a cafe. I would never mm. have known about this place if you right. didn't bring yeah. me because it is such a mm -mm. ulu place. Yep. Uh, scones, have some scones. Okay, it's a, it's a pretty interesting shape for a scone though. Like usually it's like more of a square. This guess, is a um, cranberry scone. It smells buttery. It's very buttery. I love scones. Shit, it's not. It's not bad. And it's it's not like dry. Like I've had scones where it's um, dry scone. You know what? Let's do a tiramisu. 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 Here we go. Okay, pretty decent. Still it's a good tiramisu. Still wet below. I like that. I don't really get that. Um, like the alcohol. Is it? Yeah. All right. Tiramisu is halal if I'm not wrong. So yeah. It's haram, bro. But it's nice for tiramisu without alcohol though. Yeah. I really like the cream. I think I think we have quite a few things. Let's move on. Uh, should we do the tart or do you want to do savories? Savories. Okay, you know, let's just do one. Pick a sandwich. You want a salmon one or the... Uh, egg first. We're going with egg first? Okay, let's go with egg first. Yeah. I like the bread though. Like it's, it's really... It's a denser bread. Oh, they used mayo or what? Just a little bit. A little bit of yeah, mayo right. or something. Yeah, a little bit. I thought that they maybe replaced that with <laughs> cream cheese. Like a nice light cream cheese. That was a great savory. Moving on to French toast. I think the presentation is really nice. Mmm, it's actually really nice. Very nice. It's actually really I mean, nice. It's very nice. Generally, everything so far, plating wise, decor wise, I think quality and everything, it's it's like a it's a solid two thumbs up for me so far. I really like the the toppings and the well, I got cream. Try some of this. Everything is Maple tastes syrup. good with cream. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Oh, yeah. thank you. Having our fancy tart now. It's custard for the feeling. Fresh ingredients, you got high quality ingredients. Yep. The plating's on, on point. I, I could probably say like the, the cooking, like the baking technique mm. all seems to be all like there. Fundamentally, I think, you know, everything is, is great. La. They've not done anything wrong. And I think that's all you need for like a nice afternoon tea. La. You just need decent enough food, great ambience, a uh, lovely company, of course, with Gary, my lovely company today. But there's one final thing, the coffee. The coffee. <laughs> do you want to fire it up, Gary? I do want to fire it you up. Wanna... So apparently we're going to light this flame. The flame's going to boil this water. I am a flame god. Fire. And then it's going to transfer over here and brew. And then as it's brewing, then there's going to be pressure, negative pressure over here or something. And then it's going to suck it back in there. And you got coffee. 
it still back. needs to go back into the the thing, right? I think yeah, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think, oh, yeah. I, I yeah, think yeah. it's uh, yeah, it will go down. Yeah, yeah. see, it's going down. Oh, 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 oh! So much physics at work here. Now that we've seen the magic happen, we're just gonna dispense. Is it hot? Uh, it's made of metal, I guess. Yeah. That makes sense. Actually, not very good design though. Like, why did they make the Ooh. handle? Uh, Here you go, kind sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the coffee. Eh? So this is siphon coffee. All right, cheers. It's really clean. Clean. It feels like it extracted a lot more flavor through this yeah. process. And not like all the... In just like the pure yep. intense flavor. But th this is very this is uh, nice. nice. This is uh, yeah, I, I think if you appreciate coffee, like I think just watching it is so entertaining. It's very good. It's very good. All right, let's round up. How do you find TWC? Bro, you know what? I think this you know would what? be... You know what? This would be a five. This really is the right. most unlikely place I would think you give a five though. <laughs> like, why would you give a five here? <laughs> what the hell? Well, the, okay. the, the, the thing is like, there's not a huge amount to really okay. comment too much on. The experience so far is... Uh, Surprising. Before before I hear about the price. Okay, okay. It's a Wait, five. You know what? You know what? Let, let me get the menu. Let me, like let me get a menu. Let's just double like, confirm uh, the price. I'm back. I'm back with prices. Before we go, let's <laughs> guess. High tea. How do you think the high tea is set? 50, 60 easily? I would say like close to 80. Okay, it like. is sixty dollars for set uh, for two. So it's sixty dollars for that. I, I think that's pretty okay. Eleven coffee. It's twelve dollars. For oh. two? Mate, that's cheaper than uh, okay, Starbucks. Okay. Oh, French toast. Normally, this would be like 20 25 like yeah. at Orchard area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it beats that, then it's already winning. It's $15. I'm, I'm actually surprised by, so? by the price. For me, it's just personal preference. I just don't, am not a fan of like sweets, I guess. Yeah. I would still rank it highly though. So 4.5 for me. But it, it is a very quaint and nice place to sneak a date in, I guess, if you have a date. That's it for the high tea. <laughs> uh, chin chin. Chin chin. Okay, so we are now at uh, Geelang Kwong's Wantan Mi. This is a super old Wantan Mi store since 1964. They make their own mi. So yes, let's go try. Hello, uh, Wantan Mi Kan Le. Uh, one wan you call it. Uh, So one time noodles here, first impressions, Gary. Very peculiar plating style. Instead of like having all the char siu, you know, <laughs> lined up on one side, it's just like scattered. To me, I noticed I'm a Penang boy. Our one time me over there is like a lot more black color. Dark, like yeah, the black, yeah, they dark use like soy. dark sauce. This is a, a very traditional Singapore style. So you can see the char siu is also like, the old school style is this red dye thing. A lot of times it's actually pretty dry, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it we'll goes. We'll find out. The noodles also look a bit different. To my understanding, they do have their own recipe. Let's give it a go, man. So there's pork lard as well, right? So like pork lard, you can you, you can add more. Oh, actually, that's actually a lot more chili below. Oh yeah, oh. you want you want to try a wonton as well? They make their own wonton. Yes, Here, yes. I have a wonton. Tell you what it tastes like. Wonton. <laughs> I've had the wontons that are pure skin and like the little itty bitty. Oh, it's just only it's, skin. Okay. It's like just skin. This and had meat though. Like this had a decent this amount. This had meat, like yeah. I really like the noodles though. Like the what do you call that? QQ. The QQ is kind of QQ. So it's different as well. There's there's more flavor to it. Cause this this is um, egg noodles. And sometimes for one time you get this alkali taste. So this has slight alkali taste, but not it's not super strong. I think it's good. I mean for Singapore one time noodles, one of the better ones I've had. I, I'm still yeah. not completely used to this type of one time noodle. Okay. But you're right. This one is more Q. Noodles is that you go right? Yeah, it's, it's a bit more bouncy. I like that this place actually you know, has their own recipe of the noodles. So it, you, you can tell it tastes different. It's not like, you know, you go out to a one time store and the noodles do not taste like regular ones. Char siu is surprising, right? Like, it actually looked kind of dry. For traditional char siu sake, I think it's more flavorful than normal. Yeah. I, I have had the old school style of char siu that's still super dry and like, marinade is just coloring. Rate this upon five. I rate this... 3.5. 3.5, come on. Let's be generous with your stars. Okay, never mind. You keep your 3.5. I'm, I'm gonna go, it feels like a four. I feel like this is at least a four for me. In my mind, wonton mee is still the black sauce, very cute yeah. noodles, and then the wonton, it's not in a soup. It's like on the wonton, you know? I think it's good. Not good enough though. But not good enough. Malaysia wants to win. Penang one better or... That's it for here. We're gonna move off to the next location.
I think a good thing with Geelang is everything is pretty close by. Oh, it's on the street. It's on the street. I mean, it's on the street. It's on the street, so... It's on the left. Should, so I, should I turn here? I think you should park and then... I don't think there's parking in front now, yeah. So uh, we could try. That's it. We're here. Okay, so just a two-minute drive away from where we were. We're now at Hong Chin. Fish and duck porridge. Okay, we're halfway through our Geelang journey. Let's go. Okay, can you eat a the food has arrived, so we got the fish soup, which is part of the Hongqing fish part, and then the duck porridge. Have you had duck porridge in Singapore before? No, this will be the first time I've had duck okay. with porridge, but never okay. like a combined. That's like the braised duck, right? Yeah, the braised ah, duck with okay. porridge or something like that. Okay, okay. So. this is actually not typical of what duck porridge usually is. So okay. it's more like a mui, the congee, and then there's like a bit of uh, pieces of duck inside with mm. braised sauce. Mm. But this is more kind of like the Teochew fish porridge. So you're trying the duck porridge first. I'm Fire gonna, duck. Yes. I like duck. What I've noticed is the soups are like, uh, you know what the French call like consommé? Uh -huh. So I find like both of them to be more of that yep. consommé style. And with that style, it usually comes with a um, a very clean taste. I actually think this one has a lot more flavor than this one. I actually really like the fish. It's really fresh. So this is the um, the batang fish. So, but this is really fresh. I think they yes. do it really well. Very you can fresh. taste the, the freshness of the fish. The soup is it's a clear it's a soup. good clear soup. Yeah, it's a good clear soup. It's not super out of this world. I really like the hint of fried garlic. It adds a bit a bit more excitement to the dish. How do you find the duck though? On first looks, I thought the duck was gonna be a lot more flavorful than yep. it is. But after trying it, I like the look of the duck, but I mm. actually think the taste of the fish soup is superior. The, the meat is good, yeah, it's but, not bad. But because it's like boiled in a soup, you still use a braised duck mm. as a dish, right? But this is like the, the watered down version of, of braised duck. If I was like sick, I need like, you know, substance. This mm. is this is a great, normally I would actually prefer duck, but like I actually yeah. think the fish one is very good. This one, I go three. Solid three. three. Uh, nothing crazy special, not bad either. It's just uh, it's a great piece. Yep. This one, uh, I give it four. Uh, definitely above average. The freshness, the clarity, the cleanness. There's some yep. finesse in this one, I think. Yep. Three, like four, five. Quick yeah. maps. Quick maps. 3.5. <laughs> Overall, I would give this 3.5. I, I think the duck pulled it down. To be fair, we also didn't try all the other stuff. Yeah, let's move off. Look at this dude. So we're just like onto this next location, but uh, we're passing by this one place which I've had before personally. Sui Kwan Hokkien Mi is like a charcoal Singaporean Hokkien Mi. For me, this one is like five, like the best that I've had so far. I think they open around five or six. They open at five, so we gotta go to the Ban Mi place first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right uh, around the corner. Just say okay. that one. So just around the corner from Sui Kwan Hokkien Mi is Ban Mi Tit Tit. I, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. Ban Mi. Ban Mi. You, you've tried it here before, right? I've tried it here before. Uh, they also bake their own bread. They sell yeah, their banh mi to bread. all the other banh mi places around. Yeah, so right. The banh mi cartel. Okay, let's go. Can I get one pork, pork banh mi? And one pate one, uh, to go. I think I really like the fact that there are actually quite a lot of Vietnamese here. Yes. Uh, I think that's a, a good sign that oh, this is big. a authentic banh mi place. You got the banh mi, uh, I got the beef. I swore I ordered pate and pork, but like it came beef and pork. But I think that's very true it. to the Vietnamese yeah, it, service, yeah. no, right? Sometimes they hear you, sometimes they don't. Let's try it. The meat is not as generous as I thought it would be though. But like, it's five dollars. Yeah. They were fairly generous with the, the beef for me. What I do enjoy is just like the bread, right? It was fluffy and then you can crush it down. Very crispy though. This is this is the more classic original banh mi. But it's a very like crushable bread as well, right? And I think you really need to like smash it. Smash it. I really like the aromatics, like the, the vegetables and the cilantro and like there's a lot of things going on. Flavors of meat, really good. This is growing on me. I like it. This is like, um, it's kind of like corned beef. Cured peppery corned beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely they, they marinated it and like they cured it a little bit. Broke down the enzymes so it's a bit soft. Or some kind of fermentation or something like, like they did something to the meat that makes it tender. As far as $5 bun me goes, I think the bread 
Austin is on point, home baked. They bake everything bake. in house. Uh, I think all the meat and everything they do in house as well. I, I, I'd like to see a little bit more stuffing, but mm -hmm. I think they would also increase the price range for that. If they gave double meat, like yeah. for Four an bucks. extra three, like three bucks, did you pay three bucks? I'd yeah, I do. I do that. I'm gonna go with a four before. Gary Jenning. I'm I want on four. I'm pretty impressed. I, I know of better by me places in Singapore, but this is above average. All right, I'll, I'll go with a four. I've been here a few times, so maybe yes. I'm being a bit more biased here now. The first time I was here, I was very impressed. Uh, but I, I've actually tried all four or five different flavors now. All the flavors. I tried all of them. You can't really go wrong. Yeah, it's just like a great staple. You yep. want to bun me? This is the place. Okay, we're done. Let's move what? off bun me transition. Mm. Okay, the last one, we're just going to try one dish. It's really just the stinky tofu. Have you tried stinky tofu before? Yeah, I've yeah. actually tried this stinky tofu. Oh, oh, so you've tried this one. What made you come to this place? Though? I, li I live over there, right? When we go on the way to Geelang, we just pass by all these these places. Okay. And oh, is it crowded? Not lining up crowded, but there's a fair amount of people all the time. Ah, parking it's right here. here. Yeah, yeah it's know. like this one. Uh, this is our final spot. Uh, where have you brought me, Gary? Fermented uh, bean curd. Didn't really know you were not a big fan of yeah, bean shit. curd. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't have planned this myself. <laughs> Uh, I've had it once or twice, so I'm not going to say what I think about it, but I, I okay. do know it is quite popular. We actually featured this place before, but I've, nothing has made me want to try this because it's firstly stinky, secondly, it's tofu, so not the best combination for me. But, but here we are, we're going to try it out. might as well try it out. This is like the last and only stinky tofu in Singapore left. Let's go order, let's order one. Oh, the smell inside is, is even more. In pungent. Oh, oh. Ah, okay. okay, so I am dreading this because I don't even like to I don't know what, what I'm doing here. Oh! It's meant to be stinky, so for those who actually enjoy stinky tofu, I think you'd enjoy yeah. this. Okay, okay. So, you know, they deep fried it, so it's a, it's a very interesting crust. The inside is soft, I guess. With or without the sauce? You want ass with sauce or ass without sauce? It's <laughs> still ass. Jesus. Okay, this is like feel factor for me, honestly. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they I'm trying not to cry. No, the exterior is not so bad. Texture-wise, the crust is good, but you know, when you get to like the, the flavor... Does it have a big flavor to it? To me, it's got a funk to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the funk is strong. Definitely. It reminds me of like, you know, the, the aftertaste of garlic. Yeah. I think the smell is... Uh, okay, it smells way worse. It's definitely. harsher than the smells taste. smells way worse. This is really not my thing. I mean, I, I, I have tried it. I hate tofu and I have tried it, but... Still, you know, I am unconvinced. To be fair, I'm not a I huge stinky tofu fan either, but I just know that this particular right. place yeah. is the only stinky tofu place in that I've, I've ever seen. And then apparently now it's also- Long lost legacy and in Singapore. So I mean, the, the recipe here is, is from the founder's mom who used to sell this in Hong Kong. So, you know, it's like a traditional, very classic recipe. It's, it's hard for me to gauge because I don't really know, I don't eat enough stinky tofu. Oh, right, so right. I would okay. say- Comparison-wise, you don't have a it's, frame. It's a, Three? Is this a good standard? I, I don't know how many people, how many viewers actually enjoy this. Like, very curious. Like, you leave a comment if you actually like. Because I, I'm giving this a one. I would not come back here, but I just want to say, hey, I've tried it. All right, I think that concludes for... That concludes it. Stingy Tofu. Boom. Flying bird animation. Let the... <laughs> so we're back, we're back in the car. Do you like today's episode? Yeah, I did. Like, we had a very good variety today. The herbal soup place. Okay, Tansur Singh. Tansur yeah. Singh. That was a big surprise. Uh, I did not think I'd be eating turtle today, mm -hmm. but that was a pleasant surprise. Oh, yeah. The TWC place, also a big shocker. This is a really nice atmosphere to bring your, your girlfriend or, you know, just to hang out for some afternoon tea. If you're going to go nice for place. a brunch date, you don't want to kind of, yep. you know, pay an arm and a leg for yep. that type of mm -hmm. quality, I would say mm -hmm. that place is... Is it really plenty. affordable? 
you find a banh mi? Banh mi is good, nothing too fancy. I don't know, is there a proper way to eat banh mi? Anyone in the comments section? In the house, please let us know how to eat a proper banh mi without dripping everywhere. Oh, before we end, of course, it's reading through comments time. Okay, so we are gonna go through Gary's comments <laughs> on his episode. I enjoyed Gary's appearance. I wanna see what will get him to rate it for and above. I think today there was a lot more selection. I think the quality was just better. Yeah. Gary knows his food. Love seeing him on the show by Gary's wife. <laughs> that's that's my wife. Gary should be a permanent host. A lot of ass licking here. Yeah. Should ask for uh, empty plates instead of sharing from the same plate. What are your thoughts on this? I really don't care. It doesn't bother me as much. I mean, it does make sense if you yep. want to be a bit more hygienic about mm -hmm. things. We, we were friends mm -hmm. before as a while too. Mm -hmm. Think of the cleaner. You have to wash more plates just cause like, well, you don't want to share from one freaking plate. Okay, I think right. I think this concludes the comments. So remember to like and subscribe to our channel. There's a little button that's gonna appear now. Anyone else has uh, any in interesting stuff to try on Galang? Like, like Galang, yeah. Recommend some stuff so I can try it out. Uh, yep. And then maybe I can be featured yep. again. Uh, but today was really fun. Thank you for having me again. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode in Galang. Show some love to Gary. And you know, we definitely wanna bring him back. And who's your favorite Canadian? I heard there's two. <laughs> yeah, there's been two. two. Thanks again. See you guys. Bye. Ciao guys. Bye. Great to be back guys. Thanks for uh, commenting on the first video. I, I understand you probably got tricked because you thought it was Ben King. It's not Ben King. That guy's way way more prettier than me. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad you guys uh, asked a lot of questions in the comments. Good job commenters. Let's try to get round three again. Oh, he's back. <laughs>